Hello everyone and welcome to Beer and Wood Barbers from King C. Gillette. My name is David Fala, I'm a barber, a YouTuber, and I've been kind of here for about 12 years doing YouTube for about five and I love men's grooming. So today I'm here to share with you how to shape and grow your beard. So we're going to be using three different tools. The first one is going to be the trimmer. This trimmer is good just because it has three interchangeable combs for all beard types. We are also going to be using the beer and face watch, and this one is really good just because it's infused with coconut, it lifts your beer and your skin feeling just really, really clean. And last but not least, we're going to be using the soft beer bomb, and this one is really good just because it conditions your beer and it just leaves it like super, super soft, especially to the touch. So it's one of my favorite products. So the first tool we're going to use is going to be the trimmer. I really like this trimmer just because how I said before, it has the interchangeable combs. So I'm gonna use the medium one just because how I said, I don't want my beard too, too short. I don't want it to be gone. Uh, something like a, like a five or seven. So usually this is what I recommend you. If you don't know exactly how short you want your beard, always start longer. You can always go shorter, but you can, uh, uh, put the hair back, right? So that's the tip that I have for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start probably I will say like a number nine and then see how it looks and then go from there. So something very important is for you to be organized, right? So we'll start on one side, we do the other side and then we do the middle, always going against the grain. That means that if the hair is going down, you actually go against it. If it grows to the side, then you're gonna go against that. And that's exactly what means going against the grain. So I actually think that it's still a little bit too long, so I'm actually going to go a little bit shorter. So we have it right here. I'm gonna go probably um, like a five, and we're gonna try that. So now that I'm happy with the way my beard is looking, the next step is going to be to create those lines and clean the neck, clean the cheeks, and kind of just shape it the right way. Remember the beard is a frame for your face, right? You can use it at your advantage to create a more square and more masculine look to your face. And that's obviously what we want. So I'm gonna show you how I will do my beard and a recommendation for you at home if you are shaping your beard, make sure you're doing it the right way. So one of the biggest mistakes that everybody makes is that they create the, the neckline a little bit too high. The problem with it is that once you move your face to the side, that line is gonna go look higher just because the skin is going to stretch. So you always want to do it out underneath the bone. So what I recommend is that, make sure you know where, you, where your bone is and right underneath, you're going to create your line. So what I'm gonna use for this, I'm gonna use my trimmer and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create my line right under the bone. So right here is my bone, I'm gonna create a line, a guide right here, then I'm gonna connect it to the side, and I'm gonna connect it to the other side. Very important, how you can see my bone is still here, my bone is here, so I'm right underneath that bone. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clean up whatever hair I have underneath. This trimmer is super smooth and it cuts very nicely. So it's super soft on my skin and I, I really like that about it. Okay, so I'm done with cleaning the neck and you can see it makes such a huge difference. I look so much cleaner now just because the neck is clean. So next step is going to be the, the sides, right? We gotta be very careful with the sides because for mo most likely one side is gonna be easier to do than the other, depending if you are righty or lefty, right? So for me, working on this side is a lot easier than working on this side. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tips of how I get those lines to be uh, you know, very symmetrical and very sharp. Very important, right, that you create this frame first because that's what was gonna frame your face. Then after that, it's a lot easier to create the top. So what I like to do, I like to stretch the skin and create the line. A lot of the problems that people have is that because they don't see you know, where the line is, they go in too much. So what you wanna do, you're gonna touch your, your, your face, you wanna see where the bone is, right? And that, that's exactly where you wanna do the line. We're starting to look good. Okay, so now, like everything looks so much better. I feel so much better. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to create the top 
line. So what I like to do, I like to use maybe my mouth as a guide so both sides are symmetrical. So usually I look which one is higher. So I will do one side first, right? I bring it down and then I just match it with the one that grows a little bit lower. So first I like to go up with it and then I go down to create a sharper line. I feel so much better, so much cleaner, and now it's time to wash my face and beard. So what I'm gonna use, I'm going to use King C. Gillette's beard and face wash. So all I gotta do, I just gotta use one pump. That's all I gotta do. And I love this product just because it's infused with coconut and it leaves your skin and your beard so soft, so it's so smooth and, and you just feel clean. All you gotta do after is just rinse. I'm back and I feel so clean and I smell so good. So the next step is going to be to use something to condition the beer. You want the beer to feel soft, to feel light, to feel that like you can touch it. And for this, we need a conditioning product. The one that my choice is Skin Seeds Gillette Soft Beer Balm. This one is really good because it has cocoa butter that makes everything you know, feel so much softer. And all you gotta do is just grab a little bit they yeah, tell you it smells great. And you put it in your hand, then you go going to massage that product in your beard, but also make sure that it's touching your skin. This is very important because remember that for your, so for your hair and your beard to be soft, your skin needs to be soft. So you wanna make sure the skin is very soft. So massage that product very, very well. Especially for anybody that has longer beards, you gotta make sure that you go, go in and really massage the product in. Woo, I feel great. My beard looks so much nicer. I look so much cleaner. Definitely, definitely I feel like a million bucks. So I hope this video was valuable for you guys. We learned how to shape and trim our beard. We use our trimmer to lower the beard, to create a nice line so everything looks sharper. Then we wash our beard and our face, and then we add a product to condition the beard because we obviously want it to be nice, soft, and light. So thank you for watching Bearing with Barbers from King C. Gillette. Don't forget that your style is only as good as the products you use. Choose the best products for you and master your style.